Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome. Today we're doing a paired accord key fob based on a 4th pass gaucho fan knot. We will tie our main knot, the gaucho fan knot, on a mandrel, in my case a dowel rod. I have attached a rubber band. I'm going to grab a piece of paracord 550, feed one end under the rubber band, attach a lacing needle onto the other end. We start our knot with three wrapper rounds around our mandrel. So one, two, three. We then pass back creating crossings like this. So just keep twisting towards the left, crossing here, here and here. Come around, pass in between your crossings, traveling towards the right, and finally on the right side. We exit over one, we then re-enter under one, traveling parallel to this strand here, doing the opposite. So under, over, under, over, under, over, and so on. A simple under one, over one sequence. All the way to the left. Exiting over one. Placing our working hand alongside the standing hand. Tucking the working hand under the rubber band. This completes our first pass of the gaucho fan knot. We have three more to go. The second pass of our knot is going to again be done using paracord 550. Place one end under the rubber band, alongside the first standing end. Grab your lacing needle, attach it onto the other end. Follow the first standing end to the right. On its left, or top side, starting under one, over one, under one, over one, and so on. On the right side, I'm going to exit under one, so under the first standing end. So doubling up the first standing end, then traveling under it. In a gaucho fan knot, when we exit under, we start over. So at the next byte, start over, 
then under, splitting a pair of parallel strands. Passing over to under one to split a pair over two under one to split a pair over two under one to split a pair. Over two, under one, over two on the left. Exiting with an over, we re enter under. So under your next bite, then over two to split a pair. Under one, over two to split a pair. Under one, over two to split a pair. Under one, over two, under one, over two, under one. We exit under on the right, so we re enter over. Over one to split a pair, under two to split a pair, over two to split a pair, under two to split a pair. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two on the left. Place your working hand alongside the second standing hand, traveling under two. Place your working hand under the rubber band. Finishing up our second pass. The third pass is done using 95 cord. Pass one end under the rubber band. Above the previous two standing hands. Attach your lacing needle. Follow the second standing hand to the right side. Starting under two. Continuing over two. Under two. over two, under two, and so on. A simple over two, under two sequence. On the right side, we exit under two. Exiting under, we re enter over. Over two, under two, splitting a pair. Over three, under two, splitting a pair. Over three, under two, splitting another pair.
over 3, under 2, splitting a pair. Over 3, under 2, splitting a pair, and exiting over 3 on the left. Exiting over, we re enter under. Under 2, over 3. To split a pair. Under 2. Over 3. To split a pair. Under 2. Over 3. Under 2. Over 3. Under 2. Over 3. Under 2. Exiting under, we re enter over. Over 2 to split a pair. Under 3. Over 3. Under 3. Splitting pairs of strands. Over 3. Under 3. Doing a simple over 3, under 3 sequence. On the left, we exit over 3. And we place our working hand alongside the third standing hand. Passing under three. Grab the working hand. Place it under the rubber band. Third pass complete. Everything done correctly. Each of the passes has a zigzag pattern like this. Our fourth and final pass is again done using 95 cord. The third pass has been placed on top, so on the left side of this strand here. We also want a strand running on the bottom or right side here. So we're going to place our standing hand of the fourth chord in between the first and second standing hand. So between the two pieces of paracord 550. We attach our lacing needle and we can begin our work. Doubling up our first standing hand. Starting under 3. Over 3, under 3. Over 3, under 3, and so on. On the right side, we exit under 3. Exiting under, we re-enter over. Over 3. Under 3, splitting a pair of parallel strands. Continuing over four, one, two, three, four, then under three, splitting a pair again.
again over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, under 3, splitting a pair of parallel strands. Continue the same way, over 4, under 3, over 4, under 3. Exiting on the left over 4. Exiting over, we re enter under. Under 3. Passing alongside our first strand again. Under 3, continuing over 4, to split a pair of parallel strands, then under 3, over 4, to split a pair, under 3, over 4, to split a pair, under 3, over 4, under 3, over 4, under 3. Our final pass. Exiting under 3, we re-enter over. Over 3 to split a pair. Then under 4 to split a pair. Continuing over 4 to split a pair. Under 4 to split a pair and so on. So over 4, under 4, over 4. Under 4, over 4, under 4, exiting over 4 strands. Place your working hand alongside the standing hand, under 4, Place it under the rubber band. So, that's our complete knot. What you should have is a zigzag sequence with each pass. We have paracord 550, 95 chord, 550, 95 chord. I removed my knot off of the mandrel. I'm now going to grab all of my working hands and pass them through the knot to the right side. So where my working hand is coming up, I'm going back in through the knot to the right side, like this. This will make the ends more secure and easier to trim. Do this with all four of your working hands. So, where the end is coming out, we go back in to the right side. Securing our ends. Four ends on the left, four on the right. I'm next going to place my knot onto an aluminum tube to make the knot look more consistent. 
So I simply feed the tube through the center of the knot, trying not to snag any of the cords. Something like this. I'm going to tighten my knot onto this core, then cut the core after I am done. The tightening is done, starting at the standing end, going through the knot, pulling slack into the working end. Do this with all four of your strands. After tightening up, trim all of the ends. Move your knot a bit in like this, so bunch it up. Then cut off your tube somewhere around here. After cutting off, just lightly melt the ends. Something like this. Finishing up, I'm going to grab a piece of paracord 550, fold it in half, and just below the middle point, I'm going to tie a knife lanyard knot. So a carrick bend, this end passes over this part here, then through the center of the carrick bend. This end passes over this part here and through the center, forming our first knife lanyard knot. Tighten it up a bit, adjust the size of your loop a bit, running slack through the knot into one of the ends. Do the same thing with the other part of your loop running slack through the knot into the other end. So this way we have a nice looking knife lanyard knot, a hang loop and two ends. These two ends 
I'm going to pull through through the center here of my gaucho fan knot. So as you can see here, I'm using a bit of thread to help me out. So, the knife lanyard knot on one side, we're going to tie one more on the other side. Carrick bend, this end passes over this part here through the center of the Carrick bend. This end passes over this part here through the center of the Carrick bend. Tying my second knife lanyard knot. I'm going to pull the two ends into the knot through the knot into the ends. Finally, trim your two ends. melt them. Roll the knot between two planks to really even it out. So really press down get it to lay flatter and more consistent. That's our project for today. I hope that I made it clear enough. The result is a beautiful, colorful key fob, which you can be proud of. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.